Lecture number 11. Now announcements. The big announcement is that midterm one has been graded. You should have received an email with a link to your exam graded with the rubrics of how we graded each question so you can take a look and see what happened. As a whole, the class did extremely well, much better than I expected, so congratulations. I'm very proud to have you as students, and I'm happy to see that you're working hard on the material and learning quickly. Excellent work. Now, I know that you are an extremely talented class, and many of you are used to acing every exam you've ever taken in your life. Well, you are now part of the computer science department that's perhaps the best in the world, and this course is very challenging. So I understand it can be frustrating if you don't get the score that you want. Let me say a couple of things about that. First of all, your high scores on your homeworks and your projects tend to balance out the exam scores and your overall grade for the course. So don't worry that just because you only got 50% of the points on the exam that you're guaranteed to fail the course. That's not true at all. In fact, typically, more than 75% of students receive A's and B's in 61A, and it appears so far that your class might be on track to do even better than that. If you do feel like you're falling behind, just make sure that you stay up to speed with the material, because it's extremely hard to learn two weeks of material in two days. I know it seems like you should be able to just plow through a bunch of videos, work through a bunch of homeworks, and catch up that way, but it's just hard to catch up. It's much easier to stay on course by coming to class. So if you've been watching videos at home, either watch them the day they're released, or even think about coming to live lecture. In addition, it's very important to go to discussion section and your labs, and even come to office hours once in a while. And it really does help to learn to have a little bit of one-on-one uh, -on -one time or small group time with a TA or myself, and uh, that should help you learn. So hang in there. If you want to talk to us about how the course is going, feel free to come on into office hours. Next week, please turn in homework three, which is due on Tuesday, and then the optional hog contest is due on Thursday.